Zachary Z. Packrat Backpacks the Grand Canyon. There he is. And at the beginning, oh, there he is again. At the beginning, it shows us things about the Grand Canyon being able to be seen from space and how there's the South Rim and the North Rim, the Colorado River at the bottom. And remember, drink plenty of water and look what grows in the Grand Canyon. And there's banana yucca, creosote bush, honey mesquite, blue spruce, cattails, ponderosa pine, prickly pear cactus, coyote willow, lots of things about 1,750 species of plant life in the Grand Canyon, ranging from trees to grasses, bushes to wildflowers, and prickly cactuses to wetland vegetation. So, let's read the story. Look, the Grand Canyon, a feast for the ages, ruddy red rock against crystal blue skies. To hike this world wonder, plans Zachary Z, a real expedition with oodles to see. The gigantic gorge gaping out from Zach's feet, steep and so deep, makes his heart skip a beat. He checks for his guidebook and studies his maps, sips from his water and tightens his straps. Then off he skedaddles, knapsack on his back, in search of adventure and things for his pack. Yes, like every pack rat, Zack has to have more. So soon he starts gathering goodies galore. A geode that twinkles, two twigs in a knot, mesquite beans with wrinkles and shards from a pot. Zack is delighted with all he beholds, the layers of canyon, the shadows, the folds. Hikers he passes all give him a smile, which adds to his happiness mile by mile. Downward he marches the drop ever near. It's true there are dangers, but Zack has no fear. Till tempted off course, sniffing blooms of bright yellow, and turning to find a slim, slithery fellow. Zack stumbles off sideways and lets go a bellow. Look at him. He dangles midair, a breath caught in his throat, staring straight down over river and boat. When ten feet of feathers come, Whoosh! By the cliff, grabbed tight at this height, one will wonder, what if? Thud in the mud, Zack is earthbound again. Whew. Now alone and lost on the rugged north rim, he plucks out his compass and puts it to use, taking a trail down through the blue spruce. When what does he find? A rare relic indeed, a sight that would stop even you, guaranteed. Odd sketchings in stone, carved eons ago. Exactly what petroglyphs mean, we don't know. But Zack prefers stuff he can own and adore, so off he skedaddles to stockpiles more. One funky flat fossil, some chunks of soft moss, a seed that's colossal, and fur hairs, fox hairs, excuse me, and fox hairs for floss. Ooh, something new, a brown kangaroo. Now that is by far the most oddly shaped poo. Ooh. Slowed by his load and in need of a rest, Zack climbs up a pine to a fine kayabab nest, where he and a mother sit watching her young, skitter and scurry along the tree rung. The cool Colorado reflecting the sun calls Zack to break out in a full barrel run. He trips and he slips, tumbles head over tail, plunk in the river with reeds and a snail. It's hard to do much in the heat of the day, but crafting a raft, he soon gets underway. The rapids are roaring. Oh boy, what a ride. He braves wild waves splashing over the side. A huge hump of chub leaping swiftly aside. 
but collecting's still key for a pack rat like Zack. Exploring, he adds to his now bulging sack. A smooth stone for skipping, three empty cocoons, one cattail clipping, and tracks from raccoons. When at last it comes time to put trail to tread, he peers up the path at the rim overhead. And suddenly, Zachary's feet turn to lead. He simply can't carry the weight of his pack. Now what shall he do? How will he get back? Struck by good luck, he hears a mule bray. And next thing you know, Zack is back on his way. Upward he rides with eyes glued to the views of canyon walls rising in colorful hues. He spots ancient dwellings up under a ledge, a proud pair of horns perching out on the edge. They trek to the top where the journey must end. He offers goodbyes to his hard-working friend, but dragging his duffel across the dry sand, Zack stops, stupefied, with his head in his hand. A terrible thing. All his treasures are banned. He says all features contained within the Grand Canyon are protected by federal law. It is illegal to remove any artifact. He purges his pack with hot tears on his cheek. The cost so much lost, his knees become weak. Wistfully wishing for what might have been, Zack slumps in a lump. Then he raises his chin. Look, the Grand Canyon, a feast for the eyes, ruddy red rock against crystal blue skies. He hiked a world wonder, grins Zachary Z, a real expedition with oodles to see. He collected much more than a bag full of stuff. He still has his memories. They're more than enough. Marvelous scenes are now etched in his mind. Life's take along treasures, the most precious kind. For now, Zack's content and feels no need to roam. Nack's knapsack on his back, a pleased pack rat, heads home. And then here it talks about who lives in the Grand Canyon. And it tells about bighorn sheep. Grand Canyon Mule, Grand Canyon Pink Rattlesnake, California Condor, Canyon Tree Frog, Humpback Chump, Chub, Kaibab Squirrel, Chuckwalla, Canab Amber Snail, Raccoon, Kit Fox, Raven, Mountain Lion, Western Scrub Jay, Mule Deer, Velvet Ant. And you can read more about those if you want to pause and zoom in. And there's one last picture of a bighorn sheep. So, that, my friends, was Zachary Z. Packrat Backpacks the Grand Canyon. Yep, no need to even pick those up. Leave them where they are. Just look at them, admire them, and leave things where they are. Go ahead and subscribe. See you next time.